Welcome friends. In the previous tutorial, we covered lists, tuples and related functions. In this tutorial, we shall continue with Python data structures and cover disc dictionaries and sets. We have already covered some basics of dictionaries in the tutorial on statistics. Here, we shall revisit those concepts and some new ones. We give it a name and it returns a corresponding number. Dictionaries are just key value pairs. For each key, there is a corresponding value associated with it. In lists, we use indexes to access the elements. In dictionaries, we use keys. Let's start by typing IPython in the terminal. Flower brackets are used to create Python dictionaries. Let's create a dictionary. Say player equal to open flower brackets mat colon 134 comma in colon 233 comma runs colon 10823 comma avg colon 52.53 close flower bracket and hit enter let's see what player contains by typing print player it is a dictionary storing the statistics of a cricket player here mat in etc are the keys in order to get the average of this player, we simply type print player of avg and that displays the average. To add a new key value pair to this dictionary, we type player of name which is the key equal to Rahul Dravid which is the value. As you can see, the given key value pair has been added. Let's check by typing print player. Please note that Python dictionaries don't maintain the order in which the key value pairs are stored. The order might change as we add new entries. In dictionaries, duplicate keys are overwritten. That is, when we do player of mat equal to 139 it won't create a new entry rather it will simply overwrite the previous value with the new one so print player will have the updated value as we covered in one of the previous tutorials for can be used to iterate through lists the same is possible in case of dictionaries as well we can iterate over them using the keys only for example for key in player colon note the indentation print key comma player of key and hit enter twice this prints the keys in the dictionary along with their corresponding values notice that the order is not the same as we entered it we saw how containership works in lists there we can check if a value is present in the list or not in case of dictionaries we can only check for the containership of keys so in in player will return true since there is a key named in econ in player will return false since econ is not a key in player if you try to look or search for a value in a given dictionary it will not work dictionaries support functions to retrieve keys and values such as player dot keys returns the list of all keys player dot values similarly will return a list of all, all values. Now we shall move on to sets. Sets in Python are an ordered collection are an unordered collection of unique elements. This data structure comes in handy in situations while removing duplicates from a sequence and computing standard math operations on sets such as intersection, union, difference and symmetric difference. Let's start by creating a set f10 equal to set of open brackets open square brackets 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 8 close square brackets close the brackets and hit enter and that's how a set is created f10 is a set of fibonacci numbers less than 10 let's print the value of f10 print f10 as we mentioned earlier these are unordered structures 
so the order of elements is not maintained and the output order is different from the input order just as in dictionaries let's create one more set a set of all prime numbers less than 10 p10 equal to set of 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 print p10 to get the union of these two sets we use the or operator f10 or p10 for intersection we use the and operator f10 and p10 f10 minus p10 gives the difference between f10 and p10 that is the set of all elements present in f10 but not in p10 the caret operator gives us the symmetric difference of two sets that is f10 union p10 minus f10 intersection p10 f10 caret p10 gives the symmetric difference to check if a set is a superset or a subset of another set the greater than or the lesser than operators are used set of 2 comma 3 less than p10 returns true as p10 is a superset of the given set or the given set is a subset of p10 similar to this and dictionaries sets also support containership so 2 in p10 returns true since 2 is a part of set p10 and 4 in p10 returns false the len function works with sets also len of f10 returns the length of the set which is 5 in this case this is also called the cardinality of the given set we can also use for loops to iterate through a set just as we used it with dictionaries and lists with this we come to the end of this tutorial on dictionaries and sets we have seen how to initialize dictionaries, how to index them using keys and a few functions supported by dictionaries. We then saw how to initialize sets, perform various set operations and a few functions supported by sets. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.